thousands of people are trying to find another way to get to where they need to be this hour as a network system failure at CN Rail creates a series of delays across GO Transit that's affecting both trains and buses. Laverne McGee is live this hour at the Aldershot GO Station. Good evening, Laverne. Good evening, Taz. As you can see behind me, simply not a lot going on. It's pretty much empty. We've been here for a couple of hours and people have trickled in uh, the ones that were lucky enough to get a bus back to Hamilton from Union Station. But of course, as you mentioned, this is system wide failure and the, the trains are now running every 30 to 60 minutes, but still not back on schedule. We talked to some people earlier. They were trying to find any way they could to get back home. One gentleman uh, was texting and talking to his wife and trying to get her on a bus back here to get her home. Take a listen to what he had to say. She got on a bus in Toronto because all the trains were stopped and her car is actually in Oakville station, go station. So like many people, he was waiting and hoping that his wife had gotten on that bus that was going to end up here. And thankfully, she did arrive. It was uh, quite a nice reunion for them because she was pretty startled uh, from everything that was happening. Like most people, the buses uh, were full from people at Union Station who couldn't get the train back to Aldershot. And here's what she had to say when she arrived. You know, people were in a panic. The Union Station was filling up and... Uh... So I headed to the bus to try to figure if I could get anywhere close to Oakville. So here I am on the bus, just past our stop. But there were lots of people in a panic trying to figure out how to get backwards now, get back to Oakville or wherever. Well, I was going into a dinner and then to the Meridian Hall to see the opening uh, series of Karen Kane's Swan Song. Tonight's the opening night. And I was so looking forward to it. Karen will be there, all my friends will be there, and I'm, I might have to miss it. So me and a couple of dozen other people figured out we could pivot over to the bus station and at least get out of town. My car's over at the Burlington station though, so I'm waiting for a friend to come pick me up. But yeah, at least we're out of the city. So uh, hopefully uh, everybody's gotten home okay. So there you go, hearing people and the adventures they had trying to get home on their commute. Once again, behind me, you can see just simply not a lot going on. Really not a lot of people here. Most people have gotten the message that the trains are delayed. Uh, they are trying to get other ways home. Uh, we talked to one uh, person who said they took a lift back from Union Station. It cost them $159. And if you take a look at the parking lot behind me, it is full. So still you can see there's a lot of people who have not got back here to get home from their after afternoon commute and CN did put out a statement of course apologizing saying that they were looking into this there's no word on what caused it they are investigating it uh, they are hoping to get things back up to normal by tomorrow but still delayed so if you're expecting somebody to come home or if you're heading out to Toronto or somewhere else you need to double check that uh, they're saying 30 to 60 minutes they're trying to run these trains but still not back up to speed so once again check that schedule reporting live from Aldershot Laverne McGee back to you.